Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, back at Lewisburg Antiques. It is one of my most favorite places to shop. There is a Goodwill that is next door. You guys know the routine by now. Maybe you don't, I don't know. But we're gonna get inside. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, let's hit up Goodwill first. Let's see if we can get some real good bargains. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then we'll head over to the antique mall. So uh, let's get inside, guys, and see what we can find. Here we go. Oh, you know what? That's why, because they're not open till 12. Well, they're not even open, so never mind. We're going to go over to the antique mall first. <laughs> Checking it out. I don't know. There is still some Christmas that's set up. Um, well, ooh, random person. Let's not. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Okay, guys, right off of the bat at one of my most favorite vendors here, we're seeing this absolutely, I'm calling it a Bambi-inspired planter. There is no hallmark or marking on it, obviously no copyright. Uh, it's absolutely adorable. It's got a great, young, youthful, whimsical spirit about it. There is no damage on it. And the best part of it, you guys, if you didn't see it from the thumbnail or title, the planter is only $10.00. Check out these absolutely adorable little hugging uh, dog salt and pepper shakers. They were cute and charming. They were $8. I decided to leave them. I did. I'm not going to lie to you. Up next is this turquoise colored glass here. It is a toothpick holder. It is at the $10 price point. Uh, now, I ran a comp on this. Um, it's either Boyd's or Dagenhart. I did not see a mark on either one. I believe both companies did make a, a similar or identical uh, toothpick holder. Unfortunately, it didn't glow. It didn't glow. It did not glow. <laughs> Grammar. Anyhow, back to another. This poor deer has really is just so fed up with life. Those eyes are nearly in the back of his head. And the best part, only five dollars. We do have this cute little skunk. He's a Shawnee planner. Really great condition. I thought for sure he was going to be more than the ten, maybe like twenty twenty five. So we picked him up too. Great scores right off of the bat. Now, we obviously have moved on. However, it is the same vendor here at the Antique Mall. I thought, you know what? Let me just go ahead. Let's roll the dice. Let's check out these head planters here. Now, none of them were unfortunately priced at $10 or below. I don't think that's really coming as a huge shock to anybody. These are beautiful. The condition are great on these. The blue one, the first one that I had picked up, I had just seen one of those in Ohio with Richard. We've got a great example of some Ellie Smith bittersweet glass here, $55 for the bud vase. That bittersweet, the market is hot on those right now. Another example of some Ellie Smith, some mid-century. We've got some green swan vase here in the simplicity line. This one's priced at $55, not at our $10 mark, but my goodness, that is an excellent deal on that piece. And hey, look at that, another Ellie Smith. Now I do see that one in the front, but it was a pedestal. I will say this through my own personal experience, uh, that the pedestal vases don't seem to be as in demand. Of course, that all depends on the color, the manufacturer, uh, as well as the swing. You know, again, if you can find some very dynamic swings on those, even though it's a pedestal, I say still go for it. Um, but again, and that's just my opinion. That's my experience. Some some sellers may find that the pedestals do far better for them. And uh, it, that's just one of the interesting things about the reselling game. Moving on, I do see this Dresden style. Uh, it's a little contemporary, the embossed, the German embossed gold with the applied little, almost like a postcard image or a die cut. These I do believe were original in, again, the Dresden style. Don't know that they actually are. And yet again, another Victorian ornament here. Moving on, we obviously see some beautiful blue opalescent here. It's a little hobnail trinket dish, kind of like a little catch-all, and it's only $8, so of course I had to get that one. Now, this one here, I'm just going to simply label it as a bohemian glass. It is a hand-blown, like a berry uh, basket here. Obviously, it is missing its insert, the wire. Well, I guess technically this is the insert, so it's missing its metal basket. And uh, again, at only $8, I do decide to go ahead and pick up both of those. I kind of like those colors all com combined together. Up next, we've got some American Bisque Company, or um, inspired by 
I don't know. They're, they're only $6. I do decide to go ahead and get these. They're very mid-century uh, with kind of like that fuchsia color and the gold detailing with the majority of it being cream. Uh, they appear to be that some company, maybe a, a, uh, a ceramics company, took the mold and kind of made it their own. Now, this is a beautiful tip and glass and a white and a clear satin glass with that gold filigree uh, to it. I saw this piece and I thought of Richard. It was $15, obviously, but that would have been a keep. But he said he was going to pass on that one. Adorable little biscuit jar here. Now it is missing, of course, its handles there that you're seeing the floral detailing. Kind of a three uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears inspired here. Didn't see the price at first. But unfortunately, it's at $25, so we couldn't get that one because we're not going to cheat. No, we're not. <laughs> Moving on here, we do see these very mid-century. These are stamped Japan or have the little sticker. This one was marked at $12. She is as is. The vendor did note that there was some cracking on her and priced her accordingly. The other two are priced at $18 with those green little bow emerald eyes they're very cute these would go great if you do have kind of a mid-century vibe going on but would look great with uh, some swung vases I think kind of mixing up different details to your collection it just adds a little bit of visual appeal of course we've got some lucite here I'm not overly digging the shape and unfortunately it was at $12 it's still above the $10 price point so we can't get it that would be cheating even though I think 12 um and 18 for the Golden Girls there <laughs> was still a good get. Now, these little figurines here caught my eye. They do appear to be a, a later piece, kind of late 80s, early 90s. Um, they're $9 each. They are out of a series. Um, I thought that they were really cute. I most specifically loved the little daffodil one here in the yellow. I did run some comps on them. They are available at $10. You can get them through eBay or through, I believe it was Poshmark. There was a seller who was selling them. So I did decide to go ahead and leave them behind. I was kind of sad about that because, oh, look, it says as is too. I didn't even notice that in real life. <laughs> Good thing I didn't get her. Now, I did spot this beautiful piece of Roosevelt, this arts and crafts style. I love it. I love the combination of the blue and that very organic green handle to them. It's a striking piece. It's an unusual um, shape to it. It obviously is not at the $10 or, dollar or below mark, but it still didn't stop me from wanting to capture that piece on film. I'd never seen that particular sculpt or color combination either. No, I think I have seen the color combination. Great booth that we see here. Some interesting things. Really digging it. Don't see a whole lot for resale though. That's okay. But then I spot that beauty up there. Do you see it? The cranberry glass. Look at this. This figural compote with the deer underneath it. Oh my goodness. It is at $165. That is far beyond our $10 per item budget. But we still need to get a closer look at this thing. Look at this. It does appear to be in a pot metal. Now, at one time, it probably would have had some gilding to it, whether it was gold. Uh, could have been. I almost wonder if they didn't finish it with like a faux bronze finish or a copper finish. I love that cranberry glass. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. We still had to capture it on film, you guys. This is really interesting. The Smashing Pumpkins. This is from the album... Um, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. This was a collection of the singles that they put out, all of the CDs. Y'all remember that back in the day? And this was a little collector's case. It was empty. Now, I actually have this. And I was curious to see how much an empty box would go for. Turns out it's going to go for $29. Yeah, quite the collector's item there. And up next, I did spot these little lead uh, farm animals. We've got some piggies here, uh, another little baggie of horses, and it looks to be a lamb or a ram <laughs> with the horns. Uh, I wasn't overly excited by the subject matter. The price is right. Again, it's a little, what? It, it's a little tiny, it's a little tiny lamb in there, you guys. Mm, yeah, the farm animals aren't really speaking to me. 
not to worry. We do have one more baggie here to look at. Let me put those back, of course. Now, this bag contained a total of, it looks to be six, six of the lead figurines. These are all dogs, and I really like these, the Greyhounds. I love these tiny little treasures. Just a great little accessory to any kind of home or decor. Uh, obviously, enough space to tuck that in just about anywhere. This cult really caught my attention. I had no idea what was going on. It's this little ceramic um, elephant. And I, couldn't, I was like, what in the world? It turns out it is a pie elephant. That's right. Instead of the steam coming out of the beak, it comes out of his trunk. Now, these beautiful pedestal hurricane lamps here, I, uh, these are absolutely beautiful. We've got $350, and then we've got $775. Now, Richard just found one that was more along the lines of the one that we're seeing here on the right. He only paid $150 for his. These things can go for some serious ka -ching. I did send him a picture of that uh, Gone with the Wind lamp there, but we ultimately decided to leave it behind. Talking about a pedestal, check out this one, that beautiful red glass there, that satin glass this twisted post to it, quite dynamic. I mean, it is so special. It even has got the velvet rope treatment. Don't touch it. <laughs> we go from that to these super kitschy salt and pepper shakers. Uh, I was a little confused at first because there's two holes, but there's only one, one place to kind of pour out the salt or the pepper. Uh, I didn't know. These are a contemporary piece. And then I was like, is it a set? Yeah, it is. We've got the little vino bottle here that is the mate to the set. And at only $6 each, clay art. I was really tempted by these, but again, it being a contemporary piece, though, I think that it would fit into a vintage collector's home. Um, they actually go for some pretty good money. None of these are currently listed on eBay or anywhere else that I could find. So we go ahead and get those too. Now, of course, because we spotted such a great deal, I definitely want to take a little bit more time here in this vendor's booth. We've got a basket full of babies. None are creepy enough. Uh, but she's disturbing, not creepy. <laughs> she, this little one here is on her way to being creepy. Uh, she's got a little bit of a soulless stare, bless her. Uh, she is $65, a little bit more than what I would want to pay on the composition doll. Um, though I do think she would have been a good addition. She would have been a little bit of a normie to, to my small little collection. Drats, holiday sale. It's 50% off Christmas. Mm. We're not looking for Christmas per se, though I will say uh, Christmas, Halloween. Um, those are always good gets throughout the year, and I will always pick them up, especially if it's something unique and special. Alrighty, next up here, you guys, I haven't gotten any good vintage jewelry in a while, and I saw this beetle or almost a scarab effect to it, a little bit more of a contemporary vibe to it. I think this would be beautiful um, in a fall ensemble. It's only $10. I was looking for a Hallmark or a stamp, could not find one. I thought $10 was pretty gosh darn reasonable. There is no damage to it. So we're going to go ahead and add this little one to our basket also. It's a cute get, I think. Mm -hmm. Up next, we've got this big eye print here, the little ballerinas here. Um, it does appear that it is by the Tomorrow Master Series lithograph in Japan from 1963. So it is a vintage piece. It's $100. Now, I didn't get it because of the frame. Up next was this orange elephant creature. I <laughs> Now, caveat, there is no price on him. I really wanted to get it out um, and check it out. It was just talk about unusual subject matter. This is most definitely some unusual subject matter and, uh, a, you know, a more of a contemporary piece. Um, yeah, I could not identify the manufacturer on it. That, um, that holographic sticker, my eyes were like, I, I cannot read it, but really cute. If you know who it is, let me know. Of course, we've got to go and highlight the uh, Weller Luelsa line here. It's a beautiful floral poppy. Um, it's got some beautiful crazing to it. I don't mind it. I think it shows its age. Here, you guys, we are back in Sweet Peas booth. And I do want to remind you, if you've made it this far into the video, 
keep in mind you can contact Lewisburg Antique Mall. Uh, all of the description, pardon me, all of the contact information is in the description of the video. That is the drop down arrow that you see below the video, including phone number. If there's something that you did see that I didn't pick up, you can most certainly call the Antique Mall and see if the vendor uh, is open to sending uh, or mailing you the item. Of course, shipping is going to be additional. Um, and do keep in mind that not every vendor in the mall uh, is open to sending things via the mail, but it is a possibility. The ladies are really good up front with identifying items in the video, so just give them a shout if you do see something. Now, I did not pick up this beautiful specimen here. Again, talking about pedestal, didn't I just say this earlier? The glass on this one weighed 80. See, you all know what's going on there, sweet peas, because it's like a hybrid between amber glass and amberina. It's really unusual. I don't know what was going on. Do you see at the top where the swing is, the knuckles or the fingers? Just highly unusual. Now, speaking of unusual, and let me give you a short story about this. Now, this is more of a contemporary one. I used to have one of these, the very OG ones with the aluminum base. If you do get one of the original ones, I say run. Don't walk away from it. Uh, this, the filament is made out of plastic. The original ones were actually glass. Um, they are extremely fragile and they break very easily uh, and you don't see them, especially if you have carpeting. You see where their story is going? <laughs> Run. Don't walk from those. Beautiful display that you guys are seeing here. I love the pull together on this. It's a great example of an ability to create a very bohemian or mid-century look with some more contemporary items, but of course, including in those true vintage items. I absolutely love the pull together on this one. Beautiful. Here we've got a, a false craft piece. It's part of their wood forest uh, collection. I absolutely loved, again, talking about when we think of Roseville, uh, that arts and crafts style. It's very simple, but I think that is what uh, is quite striking about it. And I love that little transfer image on the front. But again, it's not in our $10 range, but gosh darn it. I most definitely wanted to pick that one up on film. Mm -hmm. And I did want to talk about these really quickly. I know that many of you have seen them and maybe some of you are unsure as to what exactly these were created for. These very large swung vases are actually created to give you a centerpiece to put in the middle of a table while still giving you a floral accent out of the top. The reason that they're so tall is so that way they are not breaking eye or conversation lines so that you get a beautiful floral at the top and then you have that beautiful vase, of course, to display it, but that very thin stem on it allows people to still conversate uninterrupted. So if you had a more traditional or a squat vase with a bunch of florals in it, especially if you wanted to put it in the center of the table, it can make it difficult to talk around that. So that is the intended purpose behind these vases. Oh, I kind of backtracked. I did see this earlier. It is a plaster frame. Um, they are calling it an original Edison. Now, I don't know. I can't open it. I can only assume that it is given the age of the frame. And I do check the back. It was paper mounted. So if it if it is a reproduction, it's most definitely a vintage one, though I do... I'm going to err on the side of caution. Well, not even caution, but I am going to say that given this vendor's items, that they do know what they're talking about um, and say that it probably is an original. And with that, you guys, this is our basket full of goodies. Again, no item is over $10. Very pleased with everything. We're going to wrap it up and uh, stay tuned for my obvious mistake. Alrighty guys, well there you have today's Shop With Me video. You know what, I did stop over to Goodwill. Um, there was nothing really and truly worth filming, so we're going to skip Goodwill today. I think we did amazing in Lewisburg Antique Mall. I think it really goes to show that you can find some great stuff, even at Antique Malls for $10 or under. Um, still have great things to offer for resale that are profitable, um, and you don't have to just rely on thrift stores. So guys, as always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, 
keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.